It's the small town celebration that draws thousands of people from all over the world. Oktoberfest in Bavarian-themed Leavenworth begins weekend mornings with a parade down Front Street. There are traditional dancers at the fest hall and, of course, plenty of beer. It's the kind of event where you might run into old friends, which is exactly what happened to Linda Fippen. Just great. I'm just thrilled because it's just like being back home again. Linda's brother carved these dancing figurines. Her father built the mechanism that made the glockenspiel high up on Tannenbaum Building one of the first major tourist attractions back when this old timber town went all in on its Bavarian theme in the 1960s. One of the reasons to come to Leavenworth was to see this glockenspiel and see the dolls dance and listen to the German music on the hour. But then, after 50 years, due to maintenance issues and pigeon infestation, the glockenspiel went silent. Volunteer Tom Phillips teamed up with the Greater Leavenworth Museum to restore the attraction. My friend Ann Peavy interviewed him. We tore everything apart. I took it all out, cleaned it, put it all back together. The figurines I thought was going to be a challenge. But when we got them out, we found out that they were in pristine shape. We just had to touch them up, so that challenge went away. All of a sudden, we flipped the switch, and lo and behold, this thing turned loose. And it was incredible how everybody on the street, I mean everybody, stopped in their tracks, and they turned around and looked up. It just made my heart work. You know, because it's back. Tom is a bit of a hero in this story because his passion is what made the Glockenspiel able to be revived. Finally joining the celebration after nearly 14 years, the festive foursome are dancing again, giving everyone in Leavenworth another reason to cheer. How did it look? Oh, great. It looks great every time.